Well, it's interesting how treatment of women and the role of women in society uh, are part of this this narrative, and uh, you know their basic role in violence is so much less. It's almost as though mixing women in is part of this this progression, putting them into more important roles. Absolutely, and I identify feminization as one of the long-term trends that has been pushing violence down. That is. Uh, an, an empowerment and increasing recognition of the rights of women. It, it works by uh, several mechanisms. One of them is simply that, to a large extent, violence is a guy thing. Uh, for completely comprehensible evolutionary <laughs> reasons, men uh, compete because uh, more is at stake in terms of their, their reproduction. Uh, men traditionally could <clears throat> monopolize large numbers of women, which meant that some other man could go uh, mateless. And so uh, men compete literally over women, over abducting women, over uh, marriage contracts, or over the status and power and wealth that would have won them women. And this, I do think, uh, resulted in a greater willingness of men to use violence to defend their honor, their reputation, their, their macho, their pride than women. It's not that women are never violent, uh, because there are several motives for violence, and uh, dominance is only one of them. If you put a, make a woman a head of state and she's responsible for the security of the country in a world of other uh, warlike powers, obviously she's going to do what's necessary uh, to defend her country, which can include waging war. Uh, but when it comes to stupid violence, uh, dueling, uh, road rage, killing someone over a parking spot, that's much more a guy thing. So giving women more power will mean that violence for its own sake will be less appealing. But uh, there's another route, and that is that when women get control over their own reproduction, when they can marry when they want, who they want, when they have access to contraception, then they have fewer babies. And that's just a general fact. Men often want their women to be baby factories. When women have control over their bodies, they have fewer children. And that means you're less likely to get these dangerous youth bulges in countries in the developing world, where you have a large number of you know, 15 to 30 year old men, that often means trouble. Uh, women control their own reproduction, you're less likely to see that.